honestly believe with what he's doing, the work that he's doing, he's charismatic, he makes us laugh, it's not, he's genuine. I feel like there's something in the cosmos and in our callings that there's just, just the time is now kind of thing. He's actually able to just help me heal. Hi Libra, welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. How are you? So it's gonna be for your June. Um, we'll see what's going on and at the same time, so it's gonna be um, a holistic way of reading, which means we're gonna be looking at um, career, finances, whether you're married or single, um, you know, divorcing, you know, it's like, it's a very, um, it's the one-stop kind of reading. So we're focusing on the Libra. So if you are a Libra, please, you know, do stay. And if you're a cross-watcher, just like any kind of house, there are rules. And if you cannot follow the rules, you know what to do, okay? So I, we do not encourage cross-watching here. And, and that's basically it, okay? So let's see what's going on, okay. right? Mm -mm -mm. So let's see for the Libra. We'll cover all the aspects of your life because there should be life after tarot. We shouldn't be codependent on readings, okay? Mm -mm -mm. Here we go. Let's see. I am wearing shorts. Hello, knees. Okay. <laughs> Just in case you were wondering. Here we go. Let's see. What's up? Ooh. Okay. They're coming off the first card. Um, Nine of Swords. Okay. So you see that? Worries. I'm not sure what's going on. Um... This is something that you probably have um, given up. There is a dismay. Uh, I feel like it's more of life itself right now. You're looking at the losses. It can be also feeling bad for what has happened out there. You, you know, you, you, you feel sympathetic, you know, especially, you know, Libra. Libra is, you know, for the many, okay, because, um, you know, Aries is the sun, so, I mean like sun is exalted in Aries, and you have Saturn for Libra. So it only means that you're very much concerned about the wellness of everyone. So you're one of those people who even though they're not your family, there are other people, you know, can be friends, relatives, or you just heard about this, um, you know, situation and then you feel bad. So it's not really like, oh, I'm worried about my relationship. It's more of like, what has happened in the world? This is what you're saying here. What happened, right? You feel that, you know, in a way, but this is not your situation though. But how do you say that? You're, you're sympathizing, you're what the, em, 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 empath, empath, or you might be an empath also, because there's a dismay on how um, things has went down, okay? It's more of a generic, I feel like energy here. It's not the relationship that you're worried. Mm, the lovers. Okay. So this can be a Gemini. Let's see. Okay. So there has been some aggression between you and your partner. You're actually thinking maybe this is not going to change anymore. Mm -hmm. Maybe this is it. They're trying to clarify things with you, mm -hmm. but sometimes, you know, there are instances that the two of you cannot understand each other, you know? You try, 
you know, you talk it out, but then, you know, things becomes difficult. Now, I don't sense that your family knows about this, uh, uh, what do you call it, um, uh, problem in your romantic connection. I feel like you're trying to understand when can we get over this hurdle. On their end, they come as a, a little bit of, a, a, in a way, defensive. Mm -hmm. And for you, you're just like, I've tried my best. You're vulnerable. I'm open for discussion. But you're wondering why it always um, fail, you know. So, and you're not feeling that okay, it's my failure. It means you're feeling that it's just not gelling together. Now, the issue here is outside factors. The love is not in question. It can be work that they have a problem with, and then they bring this, you know. Um, you know, energy towards you, give me their family, their friends, but it's external. Okay, it's external. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry, guys, it's the editors, the editors. Oh, ooh, 11 11. Okay, 11 11. So it looks like um, might be getting a message from them. Okay, um, the they know that you're slowly changing, um, you know, how you used to deal with them. So it feels that, especially this coming, I feel like all the way to September, there's gonna be some changes on their end, wanting to make it work. So it's gonna take process for this person. Okay, we cannot switch the rules here. No matter what you try, I'm the caster. It's the rules of the tarot here. Okay, you can go to another reader and then, you know, change their rules. Okay, not here. Doesn't apply here. Or buy your own card. Now, it's gonna take some figuring it, figuring out. Okay, the figuring out is you. You're going to try to figure out because it's going to take some process for you to understand them. And it looks like there will be a gap, there will be a distance between the two of you. Now, any kind of idea with relationship, I feel like you're going to put it on a pause because there are other things that you will prioritize. Okay. There might be some problems at home that you're dealing with right now. It can be your place is too small, it's too tiny, um, you want something new, you feel very, very restricted in the neighborhood. There might be some problems with um, your living situation. You might want to break a lease. You might want to, if you're, you know, if you're renting, if you own the house, you feel like this is too much work. The house is too much of an upkeep. Mm -hmm. You're trying to, because this is seven of wands here. Okay. You're trying to. Mm, move things around at home. So it can be just a renovation I'm seeing here. It also applies for your car I'm seeing here. And also the level of your comfort. You're breaking your, you know, what you used to like basically. Um, Libra, you used to like, you know, to do certain things. Let's just say you sleep at this time. It's like, okay, now I'm changing that. Um, there's a lot of changes about how you find um, contentment here. There might be some issues also I'm seeing here with your mom. Um, if you have a mom or a motherly figure here mm -hmm, that you're trying to resolve. 
I see here, this is Eight of Wands, that you might be going to classes. Okay, that's you rushing to classes. You um, trying to, you know, the, to establish a business. You're, ru you're rushing over here to find something, like it's a goal. You have a goal, your mind is made up, but I feel like it's requiring also for a move. Okay, and your feeling is like, okay, this is the perfect time for me to find a new place. I'm gonna go and do it. Mm -hmm. This is also exploring different kinds of, again, classes. Maybe going back to school, online, um, you know, uh, learning. There is, a, there is something that you want to learn that you want to turn into some business. But this is just still in the learning, learning stage, planning and learning stage. Okay. There has been some issues with feeling about your uh, mental health here, okay? You're very worried about what to compromise. See here, that's the Five of Swords. You know, what to compromise and how can love work if there's always arguments and fights? Because there are times that you really get nasty and there are times, you know, because they're defensive. So if you are coupled, you want to separate from them. That's why you're thinking of moving away. I need to be free. This space is small for us. We need, you need to find your place. I find my own place. You know, they surrender to that every time you do that. So for the couples. Mm -hmm. Now the single and dating, it me, it, I feel here that There's too much going on in your life to even focus about that soulmate that you have. It could be a younger person. Like there's just too much on the plate. So you're not making any kind of um, move with regards to dating. Um, be careful. I see here someone might have a sore throat. You know, your voice, be careful. Um, might, you know, like stop eating sweets, you know, late at night, you know, or gargle with salt water. Um, I just feel like your throat might be itchy and stuff like that. So just a heads up. Okay. There, of course, there's delays in travel. I'm seeing here, if you're thinking of traveling. Relationship-wise, it's stagnant, okay? Like, there's not going to be a movement. There's going to be a lot of things that you would have to compromise with you and the other person. So that still needs to be resolved and fixed. Okay. Now, there are some issues uh, with regards if you're married about finances. It feels like it's uh, if you're married, there's a drain in the funds right now for both of you. So money keeps coming out, money keeps coming out. Okay. Uh, but it's not, it doesn't mean that you guys don't have work. It's just like expenses can be just, you know, coming in. Let me see. Okay. Now, there are times that you have, um, I feel like you have questioned your faith if things will ever, you know, move to a nicer place. It can be about your work, your, your life condition, about living in this place. But there are things about your faith that is constantly being tested and sometimes you feel like you, you're, you're breaking down. I feel like you are at the breaking point you know, right now, especially the Nine of Swords is the first card. So that's what you're having. It's like a mental breakdown, okay, Libra? Um, because there's just so much overwhelming things that has happened all at the same time. And that's why you don't have, you don't know what to do anymore. Okay? Like it freezes you, you know, it shook you to your core. This is very, uh, this is very, um, uh, how to call it, challenging time. You have the courage of the will with the eight of wands. I'm seeing here. Okay. So let me continue this reading. Um, Libra, I know, of course, it's like, oh my God, Sal, why is it not? A well, it's the card. You know, we can't blame the divination process. It's the divination process. So it's just a message for a particular Libra that needs some guidance. And that's where we're going to pick it up from. We'll see what are what is happening after this. The if, what, nots, and the maybes. 
Thank you very much, Libra. Everything is down there. Bye, guys. Hi, everyone. Welcome to another app tutorial. For people who are not familiar, I do have an astrology app that I am affiliated with. So check in the description box and let's begin. Today, we are going to be focusing on one of my favorite parts of this app, which is the Vedic Rituals and Remedies. You can see there right now, it's under the Featured Tools. I click on that and then it will give me different informations for remedies. And one thing that is very famous and familiar for this app is the Remedies to Improve Relationship. So if you click that, it will give you helpful information about remedying, uh, giving remedy to your relationship. These are very practical approach. These are not complicated approach as far as like remedies. And other than that, it will also give you different kinds of rituals, which is for the eclipse. You can see it there. You have Saturn fasting. You have all these things. Rahu rituals, which is for different placements of Rahu in the chart. So all these things that you can see right now on the screen, where I'm scrolling right here, all of these are available for remedies. And what's good here is that it is one-stop shop. You do not need to keep, you know, searching online, finding different remedies because it's already in your phone. Ain't that amazing? So what are you waiting for? Click that link below for my affiliate link for the app. I'll see you again.